Look, the, the health secretary there saying you know, they'd rather give people sort of 50% protection and get more people out there protected rather than get everyone doubled up with their doses. Why is a plan does that not, that not work for you? Good morning, Stephen. Um, on behalf of the Doctors' Association UK, thank you for having me on the programme. Um, we're really concerned by this decision to extend the vaccination schedule for the Pfizer vaccination from what was studied uh, when they designed the vaccination, which was that people would have two doses of the Pfizer vaccination three weeks apart, and that showed that it gave them 90% immunity, to then extend this to give them two doses 12 weeks apart. And what really concerns us is we don't know what happens if you don't give that second dose of vaccination after three weeks. And yet, the I mean, you're quite right. And in a sense, no one is claiming at this stage that they do know. But the health secretary and some others, including some of the scientific advisers, saying, well, even with that uncertainty, to get people some level of immunity is more important. It would be great if we could say, yes, they're going to have some level of immunity that will continue after that three week dose. But think about the worst case scenario that after three weeks, that immunity just wanes completely. Or maybe if we then give the booster at 12 weeks, that's just not good enough. The fact is that people are being vaccinated now and they're being put into what is effectively an unregulated, unlicensed trial, whereby they're receiving this vaccination on the understanding that then they don't know what's going on. And on the ground, that's really hard for us as GPs, as vaccinators, to have to explain that to people so that they fully understand the implications of what's going on.